Oh, sorry. I staked this. Hello? Hi, uh, yes, this is him. That's impossible. No one's ever done that. I would never even think to attempt such a thing. Are you sure I'm the only one who, could, who can do this? Okay, thank you. That was the FBI. The football balance insightfulness just called me to inform me that I am the only one who can win a play only using trick plays. So that is why we're here. They also informed me that the only way it's gonna happen is if everyone in this video drops a like and the video gets 5,000 likes, which is not really something that happens very often and everyone hits subscribe too, that would be awesome. If everyone hits subscribe right now, apparently the Titans will win tonight. I don't know, boom, we're jumping into the video. Okay, so I gotta load the guns. You know what they mean by like loading the guns? You gotta load the guns before a challenge like that. I gotta get a running back who like, I am so confident that he can just run the Wildcat formation and just end things and can just be a beast in the open field, I want all, oh, I want that Marshawn Lynch. Yo, I gotta, for the boys. You know, you, got, you know I have that saying like, Ferda, like I gotta do it. Where is he? What, did he just sell or what just happened? Okay, maybe we're not getting him. 95, LaShawn McCoy, what's his sitch? 92, he's like quick, but I need someone who I know. There he is. There is our guy. He's, that's not who I want though. He's not fast enough. I need someone who can run the Wildcat. And then I know once they get to the outside, like it's game where I think I know who I'm gonna get. I do. I think I have an idea of the running back that I want. And it rhymes with Wo Laxton. His name is Bo Jackson. So I'm gonna get Bo Jackson. I'm gonna have Michael Vick playing quarterback and we have to run the wild, if the team's, what? What are you saying? The auction's now ended. Someone just, someone's doing the same challenge. Okay, now that just cost me 15,000. Whoever just bought that just cost me 15,000. So thank you, I appreciate it. I'm broke now. I didn't even realize that he was that much. Okay, I gotta promote him to my starting running back. Him and Derek Henry are gonna share the ball. And then I gotta go get the Browns playbook. And then we're gonna run Wildcat every single play and see if we can get the W. This is gonna be tough, but I'm gonna do it. I am so sure I have the confidence of a thousand sons right now that I'm gonna be able to do it. So you know how like they say a car doesn't run unless you have those good tires. An offense doesn't run unless you have a good defense. This guy is about to get, this guy is literally mini me. You guys ever watch Austin Powers? I really haven't, but I've watched enough to know that Austin Powers has a little, well not Austin Powers, the, what's his name, Dr. Evil, has a little sidekick named Mini-Me. This dude is rocking the exact same lineup as me, pretty much, with Mariota and everyone. So it's not gonna be easy to beat this guy. Let, let's just say it right now. It's not gonna be super easy. I'm hoping he runs, oh wow, okay. Cream Hunt just jumped over me. Is this gonna be easy? No, I'm getting a little worried now. First drive, if he starts scoring, Wildcat TD is gonna have a little bit of trouble. Let's just be real. He's gonna have a little bit of trouble But I do feel like I know how to stop this somewhat. You just got to get your guys in zones and you got to get people um, Down there covering it as well as a good D line uh, I kind of want to go through a crash course right now because I feel like I've ran it enough I know what kind of shuts that formation up. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tampa 2 But there's certain zones here that against this formation you're gonna find to be pretty useless You want to take this guy? and you want to man him up on Kareem Hunt so that when Kareem Hunt goes out there, he has a guy literally sitting there in man coverage on him. He made a good decision going to the screen on that play. Good hit, but always try and have man coverage and a flat zone if you're trying to stop this. If it's really bad, like if he's just kind of temporarily doing it, um, your exponent is, no. Did I just say exponent? I've been, I've been taking too much math lately. Your exponent is having problems. See that? See, see what I mean? Unless your guy is crazy slow, it should work. Because in reality, if you have a man up in that situation, you shouldn't get burnt. But Jalen Ramsey just did. Ugh, okay, tough little start. Let's try just straight up man. Um, and then who would have, yeah, that could be another screenplay. Ed Reed, we're all over him with Ed. Good defense, make this guy throw. It appears he's not great at passing. Okay, here, third down and three. I feel like he's gonna go with something a little bit shorter. What, how is, the blood is boiling right now. The blood is straight up boiling with this little fancy stupid offense that he's running that's really, really annoying me. He's even got Kareem Jackson. Like this dude even has guys that I've had run that thing before running it. This is literally mini me. Now I gotta go and I'd love to just play this game straight up, but I can't. I can only run trick plays, so I could just get home. But, <sighs> gonna try not to. Okay, one thing that's really, really important if we are going to run this is I kind of almost 
catch him off guard. But you can see by the defense, defense, why did I just say defense? Defense that he just switched into. He was kind of ready for it, slash expecting it. I just spun the wrong way, but a huge game on play number one. Okay, over there we should have the quarterback. I don't know who I have here. I think it's, I'm gonna try and run the power play now. Like this should be interesting to see if he's able to kind of catch on. But the defense he's running right now really isn't prepared for it. And with a guy with Bo Jackson speed on the outside, like good luck, man. Good luck against the Wildcat, because it is about to get wild. But I'm glad I got that card. He is a stud. We get a touchdown right back. Now I just gotta go stop his kind of flashy little offense, and we should be fine. Okay, so my opponent is now bringing in a new formation, which actually could be very, very good for me. Because his other one, he was having a lot of success with. So what I question right now, because sometimes I like look at my opponents and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Why would you do this? I'm questioning why he decided to switch his formation. So he was having so much success with the other one. This could very well be a screen. So I'm gonna make sure to have zones. And the way he plays, um, I feel like, yeah, he looks for stuff like that. Third down and he wants a QB draw. I wouldn't have called that. But no disrespect, and he's gonna punt the ball. So great 3-0 by us. By us. What am I I sound so weird? No way. No way. No way. That's lobbed up. Good interception, K okay, Eric Berry. It's absolutely crucial that you find a way to take this to the house. Okay, not quite about the 50. That is actually getting really, really common for people to fake punts. Like I've never played a game of Madden where there's been as many fake punts as there has been this year. Like, it seems like every single person does it. Okay, I wanna run um, something a little bit different. I wanna run QB, QB. Why Why is that the QB default? I, I think I just wrecked the whole game by doing that. I don't think I can get a QB in there. I don't even think I can get, uh, I can get Bo Jackson, okay. Because Bo Jackson can actually throw. So if I can get Bo Jackson there, Michael Vick, unfortunately, I've ruined that whole thing. Um, because now it's going to be just a huge mess. Okay, snap the ball, look around, and now I can get Bo Jackson scrambling. Why is he not moving? Why, why did that take so long for me to get him to move? I don't know what happened. I think it glitched out or something. Yeah, they're over committing. They're over committing. Let's go straight through this kind of gap right here with some good blockers, and we are gone once again. Spin move Bo Jackson into the end zone. Man, you don't know him. You probably don't know Bo, because Bo can do a little bit of everything. Now the thing is though, I'm up 14 to seven. I like, you would think at this point I'd be confident. Yeah, I'm gonna win this challenge. No, I'm not confident at all. This is a very, very tough one. Arguably the toughest challenge I've ever done. So pulling this off in the end is not gonna be easy at all. Okay, check inside zone here. Yep, no play action. PA crossers, PA crossers go to the second level. I was trying to get there. I was trying to get there with my user, but luckily, we got Ed Reed back there to just absolutely lay the boom on that one. Now, that's what I like to see from Ed Reed. Okay, this is inside zone, probably a legit inside zone because he knows he's going to have some room, but that's going to bring up third down. I'm almost okay allowing that because now he's in a tough situation and I kind of want to blitz him here. I, I want to send everyone that I can on a blitz. Uh, I don't know if it'll pay off. No, he still got it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you, Eric. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. That was frustrating. That was, scale of one to 10, that was a 14 on the frustration scale. I thought we had that. Okay, he's running an inside zone here. I can promise you guys he's running an inside zone. Let's go stop that one. I don't mind, like, and this is something I would recommend. It's not like the smartest thing, but if you can afford to allow a touchdown and you know they're running the ball, just run commit. Like, honestly, it's not the worst idea in the world because you're gonna stop him and now he's in trouble. Before he was pretty much guaranteed to score a touchdown on this drive. Now he's in trouble. I need to get McGinnis in a spy. And I'm going to run a little bit of zone here to see how it does for me. Take away his kind of crossing reads. Good job, boys. Okay, I'm wondering, will he take the field goal? He decided he went for a fake punt. So he doesn't seem like the type of guy who takes field goals. Voice just cracked. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This dude's crazy. And I don't know why he keeps doing that. I honestly, I don't understand. Like... I get it in a sense because he's ha he's not having like the greatest game in the world, so I kind of understand why he'd do that. But you're about to be exposed on live YouTube right now, man. You're about to get exposed. <laughs> <laughs> if you let me beat you with 
the situation that I have. And I might start doing this just for fun because Bo Jackson is sick. Like, look at that. Look at that. He just committed everyone. We got Kelvin Johnson. He's about to quit. I guarantee it. I, I know frustration levels. And there's a frustration meter that I usually like that you can kind of tell and watch it go up and down in the game. His, with that pass, just skyrocketed. His just went up to like level 600. So I could see him quitting, but he actually might be, he might stay in. I don't know. He surprised if he does. Okay, let's play a game. Let's blitz everyone and see if we can get an interception with Ed Reed. Assuming he doesn't go for a screen. I could actually see this being a screen. No, this is a play action. Yeah, blitzing everyone. Some people are just so afraid to blitz. Like, just send pressure. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. Like, what's the point of having a user that like, you can, like, a good user if you don't send pressure? I'll, I'll never understand it. Here, I shouldn't be sending pressure. I'm going to anyways, just for the culture. But I really, in general, should not be sending pressure. But it still works out. And because I'm trying to get that frustration level. Apparently, the being down 20 to 7 against someone who's only running the Wildcat, apparently that doesn't get you to the point where you want to quit yet. So I need to get him to that next level of wanting to quit. Here, I'm going to put Brooks right through the middle. I know he's looking seams. I, I think everybody knows he's looking seams. And we have pressure on him, too. Yeah, good game. Good game, buddy. So we're going to get him on the five-yard line. Let's see if we can score. Yeah, there we go. I just knew I was so close to that frustration meter just going over the top. And I think we finally got it. Your peers can see the game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We completed this challenge. Let me know in the comments what challenge I should do next. Uh, I was quite confident in this one. That was a ton of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.